Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into MeBot. Uh, that's what this app is called. And this is one of the new uh, like personal knowledge, productivity, personal knowledge management, productivity apps that uh, basically allows you to put things inside of it and then ask an AI to get answers later. We have a bunch of them. The one I'm using mostly for voice notes is this app right here called Voice Notes AI. Uh, and I will do a little bit of comparison uh, to Voice Notes AI because they have some similar features and Voice Notes AI is actually the only like AI chatbot application I will uh, use uh, personally, I use uh, Microsoft 3 or Copilot for Microsoft 365 at work, but that is just a work thing. It isn't something I'm personally choosing. We have it at work, and uh, I am I am trying to use it. Uh, so. Um, this app is called MeBot, and it allows you to put a lot of things into it. Everything from thoughts to links to docs to images. I have put some images inside of here. Uh, you can click to chat here. You have what's called abilities, uh, which can enable your MeBot to assist you with your daily work and life. So you can turn this on and off. Uh, this is search for real time info. You can have it manage calendar, manage uh, emails. So this is more of a, of a personal assistant application, uh, more than just a personal knowledge management assistant. But I would say that inside of all of these applications, uh, no matter which one you're using, you have to put a lot of information into it for it to work properly. Uh, and as you can see, I have tried putting some things into it. Uh, I sent it this photo right here and it described the photo uh, as well as uh, just making a note about uh, the photo and it gives you insight uh, right here where it describes everything um, so in general it does a good job with images uh, and it generates uh, quite good notes that is something I I'm actually really happy with I think that it did an amazing job here and we can um, we can just uh, try uh, with another image just to show you how it works. So let's see if I can find something. This is probably my co-founder for the clothing brand. I'm guessing that he doesn't. Uh, I'm guessing that he doesn't have a problem with joining this video. The picture is online anyways, so I think that it is okay. So it starts organizing this. One thing you should know is that it is really slow. It takes a long time until it's organized. As you can see, formal event in a sophisticated setting. The image captures a well-dressed individual in a formal setting, suggesting an event or a special occasion. That is actually a great job. Um, the setting appears to be a possibly historic interior with wooden walls and classic decor. So as you can see, when it comes to pictures, it actually does an amazing job and it puts everything into these memories. I will just go ahead and I will delete this. And as you can see right here, it gives it a tag or a collection as well. So I can just go ahead and delete this. So it does a great job with images, better than all of the other apps I have tested out. So let's go ahead and delete this one more time. So that is something it does a great job at. We can also talk to this. So uh, uh, you can start talking to your AI uh, and you can just click to send it. Let's click again, there it goes. And uh, as I said, it is slow. Uh, it takes a few seconds for it to actually uh, figure things out. Uh, let's try one more time. Uh, and let's try talking about a note-taking app. 
so voice notes AI is the note taking app I personally use for taking notes on the go and quick capturing and I love voice notes because it reintroduced fleeting notes back into my note taking system. Click to send and let's see how uh, this does again. Uh, slower than what I'm used to inside of other applications. Um, it does a good job. Um, it does a good job uh, with this as well. And I can share this, I can copy this, I can save it as a note, uh, or I can downvote it. Uh, and you will probably have to um, downvote and upvote things uh, inside of an application like this. So that's the AI chat, but you can add a lot of uh, things into there. So you could add a link and you could write why this link interests you. So I could take one of my medium articles. Let's see if we can find them profile. And right here, let's just take this. Uh, like this and I can write because I change productivity apps too often. Productivity apps too often. Like this, save it. Let's see what it does with uh, that memory. Let me just go ahead and close this. Again, it is slower than what I'm used to inside of different uh, of inside of other applications, but it is working. While this is working, let's take a look at the other things we have here. So we have the ability to add tasks and you can actually give those tasks a due date. And you also have the ability to add automations. So just to try out a newsletter, you can do a newsletter on tech. Uh, let's do on tech and let's do tech expert. Uh, and the automation result will be delivered to pins every day at 8.30. So it will give you a newsletter every day at 8.30. This is something that I haven't seen in any other application, which I think is really, really cool. Let's jump into memories. Where did it put? Is it inside of tech? It is inside of tech. And here it gives me the insights from uh, my uh, article. Uh, and again, it does a good job. I should probably know because I wrote the original ar uh, article. And you can uh, you can go in here and you can actually edit the note. So I could go in here and I could edit the note. Let me see if I can actually... Uh, use markdown inside of here and I can does it have backslash functionality no it does not but uh it has um it has markdown functionality overcoming shiny new tool syndrome and we can just go ahead and save this that's now uh, again it is slow it is slow when it comes to saving as well as you might have figured out by now, I don't like my apps to be slow. And this is really slow uh, in almost everything. I might have a terrible internet connection, but I think the app is just slow, at least on the web version. They have a mobile app as well. Um, you can add full on docs. I'm guessing that it does the same with docs as it does with links. Um, and you will have everything inside of your memories to go back to, or you can talk to the AI as well uh, and get answers from the AI. You get an avatar as well, uh, and you can change this, and you can change the voice here as well on your AI assistant. Let's take a look at the pricing, because I have a small problem with the pricing uh, subscription right here. So this is the free plan and the free plan gives you unlimited speak, a hundred chat messages each month with GPT 3.5, 30 memories for 
text image record doc each month and file size up to 10 megabytes. So this is okay, uh, not the best free plan. It gives you just the ability to try this out. Uh, but we also have the plus plan uh, and this gives you unlimited speak, just like the free plan. Uh, first 100 messages with GPT-4, then unlimited with GPT-3.5. Uh, GPT uh, so this is the first problem I have. Uh, most people now have the ability to use GPT 4.0. Uh, and I would actually rather, if I'm paying $100 each year, I would just have the ability to use uh, GPT 4 and not just have 100 messages with GPT 4. I mean, all of the other apps that has an AI chatbot uh, actually allows you to use GPT-4, but that is just something that has annoyed me a little bit. 150 new memories each month is also not too much, considering that it will cost you $100 each year. So 150 new memories is like 150 notes in a note-taking application uh, and it isn't too much honestly you get unlimited speak but uh, 150 uh, new memories just doesn't cut it in my case um, 50 megabytes per file upload isn't too bad uh, but on the pro plan which costs you $200 um, dollars each year. You get unlimited messages with GPT-4, uh, which is good. Unlimited new memories uh, each month, again, good. 50 megabytes per file upload. So most of us will probably end up on this plan right here, uh, the pro plan, which is expensive. I mean, $200 each year is expensive. And for something that has a few bugs, at least on the web version. I haven't experienced anything on the mobile app, but for something that has a few bugs and is really slow, I wouldn't say that 200 each year is worth it. However, it is like really, really early stages for this application and the idea is so good and I haven't seen an application perform as well with images as this does. Uh, so it has a lot of things going for it. What actually annoys me a little bit is just that it is really slow and I think that when you are in a really early stage and uh, the application is slow and has bugs, you will either need to leave it there for free, but I understand that that isn't possible for everyone. So the second option in my eyes is to have like an early access plan, early bird pricing or uh, like voice notes. AI actually had an... Um, they had uh, early access or early pricing for, I think it was $50, $59 uh, for, um, for, for just having the application, a one-time fee for the application. Uh, but I'm not necessarily saying that it is the way to go, but having a cheaper price for people who want to back this even when it has a bugs and is really slow would probably be uh, better, at least in my eyes. I completely understand that that isn't always possible, but as of right now, I would say that this isn't worth it. Um, so it isn't worth, uh, <laughs> it isn't worth $200 uh, dollars each year, especially because you will have to put a lot of information inside of something like this for it to work properly. Uh, but overall, I think the idea is really good. And if you have um, money to spare, um, this could be an option. The monthly plan is a little more expensive. This, this actually costs you $20 each month. Um, but uh, as I said, I think that uh, the pricing on this isn't quite right. Uh, uh, that's that's what I'm going to say. I mean, compare this to something uh, like Tana. 
Talma, it is priced quite similarly to Talma on the pro plan. I think it's even more expensive. Uh, so the Talma on the yearly plan actually costs you $14 each month, while this costs you $16. Um, and I would say that Talma is a lot more powerful than this is, even though this is looking like a great application. So just a, a few thoughts on the pricing there. Uh, it's a little hard for me to recommend this. I would rather say that if you are a big believer in something like this, I would probably recommend you try it out. And if you like it, pay for the plan. And I still think that in a couple of months, this will actually be worth it if it isn't as slow and it doesn't have any bugs, I would definitely consider paying uh, even $20 each month for this. Uh, and I spend a lot of money on productivity apps, but as of right now, I don't think it is worth it. I would still recommend you to try it out and see whether or not you like it. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.